Hello, Kay. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Stephen. No problem. Nice, nice seeing you. So, uh, we have uh, Boston and uh, I need to work with your, your name once again. Oh. Lola. Once again? Lola. Lola. And Vola, who is considering to, to join the class. Oh, I mean, they see. So, um, the plan is that uh, uh, we will do presentations. Uh, and if you request, I will reserve the room, but probably we will do, we'll do it just uh, online this, uh, with the Zoom uh, on Friday. My name is Um If anyone requests, I can reserve a room to make presentations in person, but I suggest we do it just on, on Zoom. On Friday, right? On, on Friday. Okay, okay, I thought you would say same day. I was like, what? No, no, no. <laughs> um, and uh, there is no work of the uh, presentations. I know you do not need to do them longer than five minutes. If any one of you is really dying to show how uh, knowledgeable you are, you can do more, but uh, it's like saturation, you already have the highest grade if you present something reasonable for five minutes, right? Um, so the goal of this presentation is to share technology, share knowledge. Uh, I have no doubts in the intellectual capacity of everyone in the, in the class, but I know that the very few some busiest people in the world and you are doing uh, Twenty or hundred other things like the teaching assistantship, research assistantship, and other classes, and some little details can be uh, easily wiped off of it. And if one person becomes expert in one aspect, another, and another, and then you deliver it to each other, it could be a good help both to present and to the rest of the class. And uh, for example, uh, if you have an unbiased presentation, if I do some uh, uncomprehensive explanation that someone else will deliver it better. Okay. So I took your choices as a, as a primary guideline and slightly re rearranged so that you probably have seen it in, in the PowerPoint. If, some, if there are some complaints, I am very open, but I think it is all for Google. Um, before we go to slides, I will just chat uh, fully. The first quarter, first three weeks of, uh, of, the, of the class deals with building automatic models or borrowing them from the database. By now, it looks like you already know how to build models and you can teach each other. Um, I'm going to Complement something that we didn't do in the previous in the previous meetings uh, to how to browse through, browse through databases. This is quite trivial, and you don't need an instructor. I just since I am afraid for my children, I'll pretend that they teach you, but it's, it's really easy stuff. Um, I'll show uh, two types of uh, databases: one for crystallized salts, which is more for Western and another for biological molecules, which is more for uh, you know, for, for, for others as well. So the idea is that some of uh, research projects deal with popular molecules that you are not the first who studied them. And it is um, quite normal. If, uh, there, there are a lot of molecules and materials that like, hundreds of people are studying and still cannot resolve or contribute to each one of them. Of course, there are some uh, original organic synthesis when you do some exotic molecule and you are the only one in the world. Then you, you, if you want to describe this molecule by uh, computational component, you, you draw it in the, in the Avogadro or Gaussian. But uh, 
if you are staying on the shoulders of giants, you can just look for publications or databases which summarize all, all publications in the world. You just don't want a mystic uh, model of your preferred structure. And then process it as uh, in the same way as if you drew it yourself. Um, or this, and you can show me signs if I need to be quicker, because now I'm ch chatting on the very, uh, in a very general way on some uh, very general subjects. It's not a real instruction, it's more, more like anecdotes and stories. Uh, I don't know if you hate it or appreciate it, but where are these um, structures in that way are coming from? Maybe uh, some um, pressure rising advisors make their graduate students to draw thousands of molecules and prove to database. No, no, no. no. It is more uh, automatic. Uh, there is a, if you have uh, material schemes to the ground, the physics to the ground, you are aware of uh, X ray diffractometers. So, the diffraction, if there is a periodic structures, the rays in the X ray diapason are scattered in different uh, direction. And by taking the signal, one can reconstruct the structure completely. This atomic procedure. And uh, single crystal X ray diffraction did exist for solid materials for a really long time. And recently, people were able to resolve even uh, complicated atomic, uh, complicated biological molecules. So you can crystallize them at a low temperature. One can uh, reconstruct some peptides uh, and amino acid strands, uh, the DNA and more complicated things. Uh, of course, drawing them is a torture and a, a chance of human error. If it is data from modern nature, it's much easier to process. Uh, there are ways to download and uh, immediately view them, in, for example, those people in other software and then run calculations which we will cover up your patients in, in, in the next uh, next year. So um, I will show one database for Solids, one that is for viable tools. And then the third thing that I propose to show is uh, so called JMO software, which is the simplest but really useful thing. So uh, it is an only viewer. So you do not draw the model, you do not compute it, you only view the model. You can measure distances, angles, and, and, and report them. But the uh, strengths of this little code that is platform independent. So even if, if you do not have uh, administrator privileges on your computer, you can download it. It doesn't matter whether you have Mac, PC, or Linux. It is the same code that uh, works, uh, pending that Java is being installed. And this software is also available on Photon. Server, so one can uh, watch any more with this uh, general software. And after I'm done with it, it will be either I will be up to finish this session, or I will answer questions, or I will try to maybe review some basics uh, for going over how to connect if, if someone is, is forgetting because in, in your presentations it should be covered. Any questions and suggestions right now? Or like so is it? Well, so I will uh, just in case if there will be some some questions, I need to make everyone uh, give uh, uh, sharing screen privileges to. to Everyone, uh, just so that I'll, I'll finish this, and please remind me to do uh, to do this uh, when you do presentations. It will be kind kind of self evident, but I'm getting so excited about the content of your of your presentation that I may forget. And uh, another little uh, announcement: please consider to send your PowerPoint slides to me ahead of time. No? 
10 minutes before the presentation, not on Friday night, but the night before. So that, they, Thursday night, okay. so that they can glance through it and uh, catch if uh, there are some uh, things to improve, because it, it, it is not also evaluation of uh, your performance in the class. It's also uh, teaching that you offer to your uh, colleagues and uh, I, I want to make a little progress, a screen. So if there is something wrong, you will teach it others. So uh, I will put, send just by, by email. And I, I think no, no one is, uh, no one minds this little exercise because five minutes presentations like four slides uh, is, is, is really do do the thing. If you want to be a little longer, feel free, but not, not substantial. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm going to quickly run all of the uh, all the slides. which summarize what we will be uh, doing today, and then I'll, I'll just go into demonstration mode. So here are your choices. I think I kind of put too much assignments to Boston, but uh, since it is five minutes, you can squeeze and uh, select what is more important from your point of view. And uh, um, if you do redundancy, if many of you want to repeat something from previous subjects, feel free. Uh, our material is not so complicated, it's more, more to practical skills. And if you just mention, uh, feel free. So, um, who is cons just considered to, to join, um, it kind of overlaps. Uh, you may uh, briefly share how you uh, see connection to a mode supercomputer, but most of if you briefly overview it for them and see if it will be helpful for all of us. Feel free to talk about how to help with the go together. So, we are going to do uh, file and uh, words. This is really important. It's not very complicated, but we need to make sure that everyone is able to present the guidance to the audience. I believe that Sarah and Kaya are both big supporters of uh, Avogadro. So uh, you are becoming the key person of the class uh, explaining how to use those. Basically, try to squeeze in five minutes everything you want for that. Drawing, uh, changing angles, taking drugs. It seems possible. It's not as pushing the button of um, the Then uh, Sarah and I want to explain about comparative uh, formats to best understand and uh, present what is our bedroom for a world war to take it just general overview. And then Kim, uh, uh, show some additional details on Avogadro. I remember that he was uh, checking if it is possible to swap the order. It really, if you have scheduled country, we, we can do it, but uh, since if everyone does uh, five minutes presentations, we will be done in half an hour maximum, if 50 minutes in, in most expanded way. So I think your schedules will be matched. Yes. When, when you say a five minutes presentation, is it five minutes for each of those subjects? Or five no, minutes? five minutes all. After five, like if you would be in the class, after five minutes, they will push you away from the stage. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, online, I don't know how to do it. Like disable the microphone or. <laughs> uh, so, no, it is not like. I, I, I remember it was a great sacrifice from you all as a class to agree on Friday morning. And some of you have uh, errands and other classes starting with her at 10. So I, we, we shouldn't pass this red line. Uh, error will be finished about 
in some sense, the main goal of writing presentation is to finish the work. <laughs> okay. So I'll check this here maybe after the classic. Uh, it's really needed to be the first, or uh, if we all finish before 10, you can go in the, in the, in the line. That's the question. And uh, Lola will can read you of how to connect to remote computer uh, via external what you did before, before the class, and uh, how to operate the GMO software, which I will repeat today. And uh, uh, Stephen is welcome to ask questions and give comments and uh, maybe lead the, the discussion. But I, uh, he was presenting uh, things like that in, in the past, and uh, he already earned the credit of, of, of many of, of teaching others. And, and uh, we all, including myself, should be very gentle to Steven because he's in, in the control of our main instrument. <laughs> okay, next. So those are a couple of links that uh, I did uh, share before, before the class. So uh, this one is for solids. This one is for bio. And this one is JMO, but I will focus maybe only on, on the room here. Um, I will not touch this stuff unless you, you request. It's a really good software, but I do not have super user privileges on this uh, computer. And it is kind of self explanatory. If you really want, if time allows, after we've done this, all other things, I can show it on the other laptop. Uh, and mobile Xterm is just our main communication software that uh, uh, we all are using on, on a regular uh, way. So I'll quickly uh, go through slides, and uh, it's really a redundant thing. As, as I'm done skipping through slides, I will repeat the same things uh, uh, just practically. So going on to this COD, code is not a code fish. It's a, it's crisp, open crystallography database. Uh, if one goes into this, uh, there, there are like dozen other databases, but this one is uh, open, doesn't require membership. So if you click uh, onto search button, it will offer to um, Type some keyword, or can put it like uh, full rim, or uh, if you do like perovskite or CTZ, whatever your thing is, you can. If you do not know the name, you can put names like carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, or some atoms, and then you just uh, click send, and uh, then it will show several options. It shows a publication. Where it comes from, the scientists who did it very extra different from the data structure and the link on the structure. You can immediately download uh, the structure itself, or you can click on the uh, link and see uh, how it looks like. So it has visualization, and uh, there is a little thing that we will cover approximately in lecture 15 or 16, so in about three weeks from now. The purely boundary conditions. Some of you are aware of this concept. Some of you really do not need it if you do like small gas phase molecules. But if you deal with solids and X ray diffraction, the um, main property of solid that the same pattern repeats again and again. And represented by me to show just a little box. So there should be a button to download here. See if and uh, see if it's crystallography information file. So uh, modern uh, diffractometers, they uh, look like computers, like a black box. Uh, you put a sample there, and there is a little computer nearby where you just put your manual stick and you get the, the file. And you don't care how this machine works. And this uh, .cif file is 
one for the standard formats and uh, among uh, computational chemistry. So the uh, software that converts files between different formats include .cif. And for our great luck, uh, .cif is recognized directly by Gauss-Lee. So as long as we have such files, we can immediately open it and uh, see what, what it is. So if uh, I did click on this file, it appears on the uh, downloads of the computer. And since I do not have Vesta or another crystallography that uh, software on this computer, I have only five bits, it's not self open. But I can do file transfer, and instead of uh, writing this long line, like secure, I can just drag and drop from this downloads to this uh, little panel in the mobile external. And then it appears in the uh, files that we operate. So uh, then next, uh, I'm going to go through checking the file type from whatever standard uh, for goes to. CIF, and then you know, this file is being visible. And then after clicking on it, when I think the most interesting thing is is, is, is deleted, but it, it was a very beautiful picture. You know, let me check, it should be here. So it shows uh, part of this bucket ball and another part. But it looks like it was chopped like a uh, apple because it uh, it is not centered to the center of the periodic box, but it is like half here and half there. So this is um, um, goes here and one can rotate it and see, and then later run uh, calculations. Okay, so I'm done with slides of the. Periodic solves, but we are not done with that. After I'm done with slides, I will go to once again so you have a little experience. And uh, for biological, uh, here I did some very quick exploration, and it is not my uh, training and experience. I can just show the direction. Maybe uh, if you have professionally dealing with biological models, you can suggest us something better or presented in a better way. So PDP is a uh, protein data bank. And because a lot of people are interested in health and bio issues, this PDP abbreviation is one of the standard uh, formats of saying any, any uh, combination models. So uh, in this uh, data bank, one can, uh, you see here, search. So uh, one can type, uh, I concentrated and type as many biological words as, as I know in general from, from high school biology, like cytosine, DNA, or RNA, and it immediately shows uh, several options. So I just click on the uh, first one. Uh, if you have biological background, it probably uh, tells something to you, but it is a double strand uh, DNA. This uh, certain uh, basis. So it's not, not only cytosines, but uh, other, other uh, nuclear bases and their conjugates. And if you click on this uh, record, then there will be option to uh, either look on structure or click here for download files. Uh, yeah, download files. And if you go to uh, use down, download um, sorry. download files, if you give this little PDP form and stuff, then you can also transfer to the floating server. And then PDP, we already know that PDP is being uh, readable by uh, 
So you just need to change the file type, open and see. So here is at least one of, uh, you see it's uh, helix of one DNA strand and conjugated helix of another DNA strand. And uh, of course, if uh, the question is about to get or not to get a degree, someone can draw it by hand, but it's really a torture. It's much better to have a pre-made uh, sample. Right? And maybe uh, if those who are involved in bio research can make a uh, more interesting, more related example. But from now on, one can import this biological molecules into Gaussian trunk operations. And uh, for JMO, uh, I not I was not reading the slide, but it it, it will be quite uh, uh, reasonable, and, and I'll just show how to operate it. So uh, the suggestion is that uh, please open mobile stuff, connect to Coda, go into the directory where you do all your exercises. And uh, just in case uh, you are busy and didn't make records, I'll probably share the key, this keywords either by email or in the chat, maybe email because half of the class is here. Um, and then uh, I remind you to do all your activities in the correct subdirectory so that we do not uh, interfere with each other. And then after we do it, uh, I invite everyone to follow me and go into this COD, crystallography, open database, and maybe download uh, either the example I did show us something, something new and make sure that you can download and open it in JMO. And then uh, I'll just walk near the seats and uh, ask you to share screen so that make sure that uh, in the future you'll be able to do the same. Any questions or suggestions? You can just show uh, okay or not okay. So no one is protesting. So then uh, please try to do it and I'll, 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 repeat, I'll repeat the steps uh, in you as, as if I'm starting on the now. Oh, excuse me, Professor. Yes. Uh, yes. How can I uh, transfer the PDB file from Mac to uh, my directory on the Photon server? By SCP command. I will, de I will demonstrate. I will demonstrate. Uh, I will make a demonstration for 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 the group. Maybe. Yeah, it, it, it's doable. It's just uh, additional few couple of minutes. Okay, can you um, please write the comment for me? Yes, I will write. Uh, I will share the example of the command in the chat line and in the email and share it with, with everyone. Okay, thank you. Pro pro probably K, K also. I don't know, okay, are you working with Mac or with uh, Microsoft Windows now? I have to, I can work on Mac or Windows. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're a universal soldier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'll quickly show things on, on this terminal and the Windows because it's already open and then I switched to Mac and made the information there. So, uh, Suppose I'm doing everything in the going to Google, type in CLD base. Here's the log if you open that base. Then I go here to the search. And um Uh, if you, uh, if I'm looking on Boston, who is interested in, uh, if recently became interested in the terms case, so maybe that 
glory and Caesar. Some questions. So it shows uh, several examples, and uh, there is a one can arrange them by the cell volume. Start from the smallest one. And uh, smaller models are definitely are a bit quicker. So it's uh, cesium, lead, and chloride. And many degrees south, which is good. Then I click here. And it shows only uh, very few, very few atoms because the rest are, are periodic uh, reproduction. But you can, for uh, example, select something that's something more interesting. Then grouping um, it and then opening it in the folder. And then I'm going to the mob uh, term and I'm taking the square and just transfer it. And after that, I'm looking for plus minus 18. And here it is uh, latest C5. Um, it's, it's quite boring to look inside this file, and there's so many information just for a couple of uh, couple of atoms. Most important thing is only the last line. But if I go into the you open select CIF open. And then it shows that uh, there is a cesium, there is a lead, and it shows this uh, bromance as a uh, uh, through periodic boundary conditions. So uh, there is a there, there, there are pieces of software that rotate in itself in several uh, directions. And I recommend this. Or maybe you're going to do a presentation in the uh, show demonstration in one minute. Uh, Mark, I will open this and show how to use it. But um, some calculations can, can be done if you see that the structure start transferring. So uh, I plan. To make the same demonstration of the map. And then I will uh, go around the uh, seats and uh, ask those who are on the Zoom to share screen to make sure that you can do, uh, you can do the same thing. So feel free to uh, ask questions anytime. Yes? Oh, okay. Uh, well, let, let me do it for, for everyone because it, it, it looks uh, uh, like a, a critical information that everyone needs. So, after I did open the uh, mobile external. I'm typing yes, SSH minus Y if I'm going to use uh, Gaussian, then username, then this uh, strange symbol, then the name of the server, and then the uh, name of the where the server is located. Can you see? Then it asks for, for a password. Uh, I'm going to pause recording to resume recording. And after I'm logged in, um, the, the whole path to, to the directory 
is kind of long and uh, I just fear to make an error of typing something wrong. Therefore, I do it step by step. So, so CD corner directory. PWLS or PWD to check where I'm at. So M in this corner directory. Then M in CD stretch, stretch 001. Now I do this. We see what our other files do and PWD do this. Now I do CD something. Again, checking where I'm now going to class index in the year 21. Then there are subdirectories for uh, different uh, person. So I need to go to mine, you need to go to yours, right? Going to my directory. And then um, PWD. Now, if I want to do everything at once, I can copy this stuff and type cd space, don't forget the space, and then paste, paste this stuff. And it will need it to bring me to work already. So let me show um, this stuff in the chat line. So it is how to go to the right directory and uh, or login in. Example of the command. And uh, just in case uh, we send the same thing to Everyone paste this one and paste this one. Okay, uh, Boston, did it answer you? Yeah. Now I'm going to look in from uh, the other um, instrument. Make a little demonstration. Uh, Stop sharing. And start sharing. So I'm going to to a browser. And
So, then I'm going to the terminal. I think we need to transfer this file into a photo. So, I can use CP, then I paste the name of the file, type the Name that um, I understand I need to make a bigger font, otherwise, it is not visible. Okay. Understand it is not possible to memorize the whole line. Uh, if I remember it, I would write here like scratch zero zero one and the whole line. If you if you have this opportunity, it, it's much better. If I do not remember, uh, I can just do this semi this column, but then I need to later on I, I, I need to clean I need to clean up. Myself. So I copy, it asks for the password. And the term file is there. So um, if I log in, if then I log in to the uh, button. And I, I will see this file right in the place where I'm going in. But it is not it is not good because uh, this uh, uh, system administrator can persecute um, uh, me if I put too many files here. So uh, there is not enough uh, space. So one needs to transfer file from here to our class directly. And copy this uh, file into scratch. Okay. Then I can open Ghost View and uh, work with it there. Another option, what I can do on, on Mac, uh, I can run this uh, Vesta software, which uh, you just go and download. It uh, doesn't require things. So uh, in the Vesta, you uh, open file. So it is able to open this uh, sift files. And uh, then it can, uh, I can watch this file, I can save it, uh, export data into another style I want, like uh, PDB, XYZ, and uh, some other popular, uh, popular types of software. And also there is a, uh, a way to uh, look onto federated boundary images. So I click boundary and click here. Uh, 
on, we chose not only primary uh, unit, but also uh, the neighboring units. Okay, uh, Sarah, that, did it answer your uh, uh, question? I'm trying, uh, please give me a second. Then I'm uh, logging off or stopping uh, sharing on this uh, Mac and going back to our main class. Uh, oh, okay, computer. thank you, thank you. this time. Yeah, I think we maybe uh, getting good. I'm going to walk around uh, my seats and, and then ask and then I will ask everyone in the uh, yes. After gview.ex, what you wrote in Mobatex, can you show that command? Mm -hmm. Which, which command? In Mobatex, um, we after um, wrote G U dot E A, yeah. then you wrote something. Uh, you mean this one? No, no. Uh, please go down. It's, it's the last latest. Maybe. Oh, this one, the last? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. The, um, like after. Okay, A list. Okay, okay. So I do have this C file, and uh, I can open it in uh, in Go C just by uh, I, I did transfer it by just by pasting into, into this area. So maybe it's better to. So first you wrote ls lt ls yes. then cd lab three mm -hmm. then again ls lt yes uh, just to see who, what is the latest file I did play with so it okay. arranges files according to the time they were created and whether L stands for long. Uh, like for additional details, not only the file name, but uh, privileges, folder, uh, work group, size of the file, date, when it was created, time when it was created. And sometimes it is uh, reasonable. So there, there's a you know, question in the chat. Connection with me. Oh, excuse me, Professor. I am yes. using this comment uh, that I put it in the chat, but uh, it doesn't work. I don't know what is the problem. Um, so here is my plan. Let me quickly check if everyone in class is doing well, and then I will uh, stop and ask you to share a screen. Okay, thank you. It, it, it will be just quicker. I, I may just give a quick glance. Oh, okay. Network connection is gone. Ah.
to go to the next five years. Most of the people. Okay, sorry for the delay. Let's uh, go through. Who is first? Please uh, share the screen. Sarah, would you like to share? Yes, yes. And Kay, if you didn't create Web3, then you will not see it. It's, uh, you need to create it yourself. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, professor, as you can see here, for example, uh, I'm using this uh, yes. comment to copy from download uh, folder this file to the this directory. But when I put, uh, press enter, 
Uh, I, I see such such this error. Okay, yes, I do see. Uh, please check if your directory starts with uh, upper, uh, if it is Sarah starting from uppercase, and uh, check if you do have this web three. Let me quickly. Yes, uh, I have. I made this, this directory today, lab three. Okay. I think everything is right. Yeah, let me double check. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see if the the way how you type it once again. So yes, uh, can you can you just do ls uh, my last space space minus lt vertical line and then head yes okay so one zero one zero one eight zero dot c Indeed, it, it, it looks correct. Uh, yeah, I have I have some something uh, to to try, but uh, it looks like uh, your Mac does have enhanced security. So if the problems will uh, come up, we'll, we'll, I'll probably try to open security options on, on mine and show uh, where I. Uh, disable them. So it, it tries to prevent your computer from any communications from external world so that you don't get a uh, computer virus. Uh, okay. Let's tr let's try to connect uh, to do the same thing, but not in terminal as you are trying to do right now, but in the uh, in the exports. So if you please uh, share the screen and uh, open term uh, like X term in the exports. And if you share everything, I will, I will guide you through. So, not, not, not here, not, not the terminal. Let's, uh, um, if, um, let's go to applications. Application. Yeah. Applications. Then go to uh, utilities. And uh, click on the ex double click on the exports. Remind me later. Yeah, good, good. Now in the X term, let's click in, inside the X term and try to type the same uh, the same command. Uh, it may not allow the copy paste. You may need to type. So this uh, again ten oh. one zero and then click tab. It should continue. Oh, mm -hmm. you first you need to go C D downwards. Uh, you need to be in the CD downloads, enter, and now we'll try to type the same uh, CP. Hit the tab tab button; it should continue the name. I, I there is a the, on the keyboard to the left from the letter Q. There is a tabular tab. 
Yeah, yeah, I am pressing it, but it's uh, okay. Then, okay, then we, then we need to type the whole name. Yeah, I think so. 10, 10, 180. 10. And then No duck, uh, not NDC. After NDC, it should be North Dakota, no duck. NDC dot no duck uh, dot edu. And then just put column to save time. Put column and hit enter. Operation huh? not permitted. Very, very, very strange. Uh, try. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, is there is there a way we uh, can meet in person? Maybe you come to the next lab in person or set up a meeting. It will be quicker. But uh, let's 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 try something quickly right now. Um, try to type chmod777 and then name of this file, 1010 10, whatever. chmod space 777. This one. And please share a screen so that they see what you do. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, I will be with you very shortly. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Listen, I already uh, uh, create a lab three, then after that, I also copy their uh, command scp florence dot pdb. I already copy that one also. Okay. Were you able to watch it as a, as an image? No. No. Okay. I'll I'll be done with Sarah in 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 a minute or two, and then we'll we'll go back. Okay. No. C H M O D. Let's keep typing. Uh, which space? 777 space name of the file dot cif enter uh -huh. uh, okay do not worry do not worry can you push uh, arrow up arrow up then uh, push arrow left many times to the beginning of the uh, of the line to the very beginning and now type s u d o S U D O space. No, not S U O, but S U D O. S U D O. Super user do. And now enter. So now you need to type password of the system, uh, super user of this computer, like which you use uh, when you log in. Uh, you mean the password of the photo? No, password of the of your Mac computer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I use the, um, I, how many users are on your Mac computer? Are you the only user or several yes. people? I'm the only user. So when you like lock and unlock, uh, this pseudo should, should over, over, override. Uh, we need to talk more, but it, it looks like uh, there are some, it doesn't allow you to do some uh, operations. Okay. And they will ask or pa password or uh, uh, fingerprint. So maybe. Uh -huh, yes. Yes. It will uh, appear. But this, Sarah, uh, the last command that you. Yeah. Write something. 
K is uh, suggesting to use fingerprinting instead of password. Yes, it may work. And uh, the um, Hold again. Then I repeat again. The operation is not not permitted. It doesn't can ask. You, can you try, can you, well, uh, it uh, doesn't give you full permissions. We'll, we'll resolve it later. But it, it's question not about our class. It's question about privileges on your computer. Uh, it, it, it should work, but okay, maybe, maybe. There, is, there is some super security. Um, yeah, for Mac, uh, we need, need to access it manually. M maybe there is an application or something like that. Then you need to unlock. Then there is something like you need to type a password, then lock again. Then after that, you'll be able to uh, do something in that software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to turn to, to focus on the, on the case of care. But uh, I, I will keep thinking and uh, we will resolve it. And it will be uh, one operation will resolve all problems. So, okay, would you please share the screen? Yes. Share. Uh, how to share? Okay, so, uh, share the screen. Okay, this one. After that, it, just, just wait. It, it, it is. It, it, uh, it, it okay. okay. Then after that, what I need to write. Uh, uh, what you are doing is not is not needed. Why you are transferring? It? Uh, let's uh, please type ls minus lt. Ls. Uh -huh. Space minus L T. Just a minute. Space L S space minus O T. L T. Then. Uh -huh. Enter. Enter. Okay. So you, you have Enter. nothing here. Uh, po, 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 po. Did you download? Um, yes, I already download. I already download that one. Okay. Can you show me it in in the file manager? Yes. This one. Okay. Now let's go back to the MobX term. Okay. Uh, you see, um, so please follow what I'm showing this mouse. Uh, uh, let's, um, what is your mouse? Please bring it to the left, to the left panel, left uh, yeah. white panel. Yes. And see greenish, greenish symbol at the top of this column. Higher yeah. up, no, lower, lower. Hey, this, this one. Double okay. click, click. Yeah, and double click. Okay. Uh, then yeah. scroll to the to the top. Scroll to the top. Oh. To the top. More to the top. The absolute. Yes. Now again, click on this greenish thing. Okay. Then now uh, scroll to the bottom. Bottom. Find the scratch zero zero one. Double yeah. click. Find this chem. Uh, Four seven six. Yes. Double click. Yes. Find the scam uh, for the year twenty twenty one. Double click. Yes. Find your uh, Kia. Yes. Your sub directory. Yes. Find your lab three. Uh huh. And now please uh, click on your file browser. Yeah. And then uh, maybe move the whole file. Yeah. 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 Release. Oh, it's uploading. And now uh, click on the black area, black area, and uh, click. And now hit arrow up. What? Arrow up, arrow, arrow up. Arrow up. Yes. Or just type ls minus ot once again. <laughs> what is arrow up? Arrow, like oh, the rest, yes, yes. the rest. Yes, yeah. yes, Enter. Yes. Enter. Yeah. So you, you see this file, right? Yes. Now type uh, G goes you G view. G view. Uh -huh, G view. G view. Tab. Dot. Yeah. And then uh, repeat the name of the file. One D Q H. Name of the file that you see. Okay. One 
dqh dot dot p d d dot dot how can now enter enter And just wait a little. Yeah. What? Just wait, just wait. Good okay. morning. Keep waiting, keep waiting. Okay, this one, model one. Uh huh. So I need to just, just click okay. Click okay. Click okay. Oh. And now rotate it, just drag and drop and see how it rotates. Okay, rotate like it. No, 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 just click, yeah, in the middle. You, uh, click, keep, click, uh, move, and then release. It's like a DNA. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, I think you, you're doing good. Uh, I have a question in the class, so uh, Kay, you, you may stop uh, sharing. Yes. I, will, okay. I will walk inside into the class and then return back to the podium. Okay. I'll show, I'll show. She's a little bit ahead of everyone. Here the files for the browser and here is this list in the text file, the text file. So it's the same information. So, what can we do?
So um, let's go to uh, biological models. And uh, I will probably quickly show them because it looks like Kea already did it. And maybe some of you already did. So I'll expedite this biological databases and then show JMO because we will need it for measuring distances. And uh, it is one of the uh, presentations uh, subjects for uh, our new colleague Ola. So, um, yeah. We have about 40 minutes left, so I'll spend 20 minutes on bio and 20 minutes on, on, on JMO. Uh, I start sharing the screen. Then uh, going to, I, I can do it completely in you. So, and uh, Sarah, uh, you still can open everything that we uh, that we do on. Uh, you can open P PDB files on, uh, on with Avogadro. Yes. So PDB, PDB files are, are universal. Yes. Uh, so I in the search I, I type this PDB RS RCSB. Go in there and just type here what I want. So pro, previous time I typed cytosine. Uh, I just do not know more uh, my biology background. So it's something different. Click there and look for download files in PDB. Although there are some some uh, some other formats as well gets me here. I show open in folder. So in five and and then when I bring the uh, MOBA external, I navigate. So look here. I navigate and make sure that in this panel I have exactly the same directory where I'm working in. And I take the file that I need and drag and drop it here. So it, uh, if this mobile extern, it replaces the SCP command. And uh, I'll try to figure out what is going on uh, with Sarah. If, if not during the lab, I will do it right after the lab and send uh, suggestions because we, we need to resolve it. Okay, and now uh, let me go back to my self-directory. I go to 3N, 5N. And now I may uh, want to open it in uh, Gauss U. And I need to be prepared uh, with a lot of patience since you see the size of this file is really huge. It's like almost a megabyte. And uh, it, it may be on the limits uh, of uh, Gauss U uh, uh, capacities. Three and five N. So it's something really huge, right? For uh, I try to rotate it, it is a little bit delayed. Uh, so for such sizes of the molecule. Uh, one can do one with force field and uh, quantum tricks will not work. It's it's definitely more than thousand atoms and it's, it's uh, uh, but for some uh, practical applications it, it could be needed by biomedical. And uh, I can save it in the uh, Gaussian format. And later on, I'm, there is there is no time, and it's not a uh, goal of our today's meeting. But but one can go into Gauss and calculation setup and request uh, like to find uh, optimization and, and stuff like like that. Uh, this panel will be main thing for our meeting uh, next Wednesday. Gauss and calculation setup. 
can also save it. Oh, it is already saved in PDD. Okay. So uh, I hope everyone will be able to repeat it. Uh, one should be also able to open PDB in the uh, Avogadro if you are practicing on your personal computer. Now uh, let's uh, let me cover. Huh? It was two minutes instead of twenty. Uh, let me cover uh, so-called JMO. The link that I did share with you is um, will allow you to download and install the latest version, but some obsolete, some previous version, but re really good one with uh, like some new versions have additional errors, but really good old version is installed on uh, uh, photo. And the path to this version is as follows. Um, GMOSH. So I'm going to copy this command uh, to the chat point. So after this command, there appears a window like that. And in this window, I can open uh, any uh, file of at least PDB and XYZ format plus some additional. So I can open this very recent uh, biological stuff, 3N, 5N. Uh, it's, it's not as great and I uh, believe I did remove some uh, visualization uh, uh, things to, to, so it shows only one of the lines to make the uh, oh, and if you your research deals with biology uh, there are ways uh, to bring up a command line the JPO operated in the same way as we do it in, uh, in the Windows. And there are some extended commands that are not visible for simple users to represent uh, standard units of biological uh, uh, molecules with simplified like, uh, planes, rectangles, or ribbons. I'm, I'm not doing it because it's not my. Uh, Specialty, but it is hidden inside the gym. Uh, I'm going to open something much uh, simpler. Open uh, maybe the Simple molecule that uh, I did create last time. It's a, it's a molecule from from previous uh, from previous uh, lab, and um, let me show some uh, just some, some ways to to operate it. So if you click and do not release mouse or trackpad, you can rotate from different angles. If you need to expand, there is this uh, magnifying. Uh, glass that you bring it forward or backwards. Uh, there is this uh, stuff that helps to move it uh, up and down, which sometimes is needed. Um, I'm not clicking on this red cross right now, but I can uh, do it later. It's the simplest editing. It, it just delete an atom. For example, if I downloaded something from the database, uh, which and I just need to remove a couple of atoms. It's the quickest way. So there is a way to save and save it. And uh, in newer version, it has few more, but here it's basically just not only three options, but sometimes it's, it's really, it's much more reliable even than Babel. So for conversion between PDB and XYZ, uh, JMO works almost uh, always, even if the file is uh, corrupt. So it's, uh, it's a good, good product. And um, 
main thing for which I suggest we uh, use this uh, piece of software is um, measuring of the uh, distances and, and, and angles. It's definitely the distances and angles are available in the Gauss yield, but there it uh, you look at one distance at a time when you click on the player and try to modify it here in the uh, JMO, one can create a like uh, go over all uh, atoms or all needed atoms. Add measurement list. Add measurement list. Add measurement list. Add measurement list. And then uh, if it will be, if I'm, I'm looking to prepare for a publication, instead of uh, if it is um, like chemistry of adsorption, or if, it, if we need to evaluate if reaction did happen or, or didn't happen, uh, instead of showing a table, I can just uh, maybe bring in this uh, piece of molecule as a, as a figure and tell uh, dear reader, please read, please uh, learn all distances that we have computed from this figure and then tell nothing else, which we will save time. Um, there is a delete, clear all distances if I need to start over. Uh, for example, if my education doesn't help me to recognize difference between gray and white spheres, and I want to learn which uh, type of uh, elements are there. So uh, atom labels, atomic symbols. If uh, I want to specifically speak about reaction and tell, the reactions deals with breaking a specific bond, I may number all atoms and tell the primary reaction will be uh, breaking the bond between carbon 31 and carbon uh, 66. So it just uh, shows me the uh, a way to be specific while discussing this mode. And uh, we, will, we will be doing uh, quantum calculations of the advanced level with some additional observables. But those interatomic distances and angles, the specifics of the geometry, the basic level of uh, calculations that uh, could be of interest and can be reported not as a main result of the paper, but as an auxiliary thing, especially if there are changes to geometry, especially if there are chemical reactions. Like I tell this, if uh, the uh, gas move approaches the catalytic site, Binds the leaves, then you may want to trap uh, distances. Make sense? Okay, uh, I'm going to end all distances. Uh, also, in Gaussian, we were able to measure uh, angle for each uh, three atoms. Like one, two, three. I clicked on three, three atoms. And then it shows, okay, here is the angle. I can uh, click another three, uh, one, 31, 66, 65. Add two angles. Uh, and uh, if I, I can rotate it and look from, from different angles. So it's a little deviation from uh, ideal angles uh, in the standard hydrocarbons because it's something more, more exotic. And uh, another thing, I'm going to delete angles. Another thing that uh, uh, one may need in actual chemical studies, the stuff that uh, we were going over uh, last lab, the so-called dihedral. For example, if I look there is another way to think. Maybe it's, it is stuck because it 
was graphical, to, 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 to intense graphical grain. So uh, display perspective depth. So perspective depth is something that I don't uh, like, and it, it uh, creates three-dimensional visual things, but it uh, sometimes uh, prevents from another so axis. And for periodic things, when we uh, need this bounding box. So for chemistry, for chemical applications, uh, there is a concept of isomers where um, sometimes there is a absolutely the same chemical structure but slightly different uh, mutual arrangement. And in studying isomers, it is important to measure the hydro angles, so called the hydro angles. In addition to changing them in goals, you can measure them. And here, for example, we can measure how this plane of the absorbed uh, aniline relates to the plane or uh, to the to the line connecting the so this pair of atoms uh, which are binding sites for the carbon and hydrogen, how it uh, mutually rotates with the plane of this benzene group. So uh, I can go into the dihedron, and then it invites me to click on four atoms. Which I, I will click 35, 39, 53, 52. And then it shows uh, the angle, which is, uh, yeah, it makes uh, minus 60, which shows that this benzene um, ring and this bond are, are not orthogonal to each other. Okay, what else? Right now, we do not have data to, to uh, additional data to analyze, but in addition, this uh, JMOL uh, software does have an option to animate. So if we consider uh, molecular dynamics, molecular mechanics, and we have a results of computing of the dynamics where frames are following each other, this software uh, is able to scroll and go through the several samples of Network for reversible reaction. Well, uh, to visualize anything, this software, but it is not a solver. The JMO does not uh, compute actual actual dynamics. But we will go over the software that uh, performs molecular dynamics and for reverse, for attempting reverse reaction, there is a, oh, it's a big. Question, but my quick answer is just swap signs of all velocities when you arrive to the reactor. So change any projection of velocity to opposite and then rerun. And if it is a small reaction, small model, it may go back. If it is a big, uh, because of the principles of statistical mechanics, it will, uh, it will never come back to the original thing. So, let me invite all of you to open a sample molecule in uh, JMO. Um, I will, yeah, we have still about 24 minutes for the class. I'll try quickly inspect something uh, for Sarah while you're trying to practice this. If I will succeed, I will talk to her first. If not, I'll just walk around the seats and make sure that you are able to practice and experiment with uh, the JMO software. And a little thing that I completely forgotten to say. Um, I, I'm sorry for forgetting it, but you may have used the time here in the lab as a time for preparing the slides. While we are trying something, you can could do screenshots, put them in PowerPoint, and by the end of the meeting, to, oh, yeah, sure, I have my slides. It, it's not uh, like saving like hundreds of hours. It's like maybe saving additional 10 minutes of your precious time, but you may try starting it right now if you're done with everything.
Oof. So I will focus on uh, map for resolving connection issues and uh, in about four or five minutes I'll, I'll try chatting back with everyone. So, so here is the message for Sarah. Uh, when, when, when you show something, I do promise that it will uh, it will immediately help. But uh, let's at least try. So in the system preferences, right, which is uh, on the bottom, it is this uh, little uh, mechanistic hex uh, view. So I click this uh, system preferences and then find this security. I open the security. And then um, uh, I do have for general, I uh, removed when I when things require a password. And then for firewall, I uh, uh, did turn turned it off. And for firewall, I also did turn it off. And to make these changes, uh, it is what Kay was, was telling. Yes, you need to unlock it. On this uh, little uh, lock, then uh, either type password or use the uh, fingerprint. And then one can uh, change the privacy options. So I uh, did it less private. Uh, like not requiring password, removing file vote and removing file vote. So please make this experiment and then try to sending files and changing privileges of the, all the files. Uh, hope, let's hope that it will help. If, you, if it will not, let me know and I'll, I'll keep seeking. Okay. But, uh, it looks like uh, your, your settings of your laptop uh, do have um, like 
overcautious uh, security settings, uh, preventing from okay. communication. Okay. 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 I'm you. going to stop here and then uh, talk to everyone about uh, class activity. Um, and please answer or just send me an email if if this uh, thing did or did not help. Okay, thank you. Stephen, how are you doing? So I was. Uh, oh, I probably I it. It's very. I think it's going well. Uh, I'm. I'm saying no. No. So I was able to transfer the uh, CIF file, but when I'm trying to open it, it's empty. Uh, so you uh, you are not able to open CIF file. No. In Gauss U. Uh, I just tried JMOL. No, no, no. JMOL will, will not open uh, CIF. Ah. Try to open it in Gaussian. And uh, if you are on your personal equipment, uh, try to install the uh, Vesta software. But, uh, it's, it's not required, but it, it's, it's quite helpful if you ever plan to work with periodic. periodic. And uh, I will ask everyone uh, 
on way into Shersk, uh, or everyone means uh, UK and Sarah. Share screen if you have some open questions. So if uh, something doesn't work, you want me to quickly uh, have a look, uh, just prepare. I will ask you again in, in, in five minutes. If you if you do not need it, it's fine. I'm just checking if, if you can resolve something together. Uh, uh, excuse me, Professor. Yes. Uh, I, I did the same as you said. And my firewall and etc. was off, uh, but it doesn't work again. Hmm. Okay. Um, are you able to install new software? Were you able to install new software with your privileges on this computer? Uh, excuse me. Uh, what was the question? Um, do you were you installing any? Oh, who is sharing screen right now? Okay, yeah. Me. Oh, okay, okay. Sir, what you uh, showed before, I can understand. And after this class, I will be able to do it by myself. But now my um, uh, this one is not working. I, I see uh, your... your uh, Maybe question. because of internet okay, connection. Just, 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 no, 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 it's not internet connection. It will be really quick to, to fix right now within a minute. Let me just finish a uh, uh, few sentences with Sarah and then we'll work on your, together on, on your case. Okay. Uh, Sarah, so my question is, are you able, were you able to install new software on your laptop? Yes, yes, okay. yes I can. Okay. So, um, by... so if you, uh, what what I was observing, you are not able to change uh, permissions for a certain file. So uh, you know the, some files are uh, prevented from erasing by uh, uh, removing permissions for for, for uh, even for the owner to to change it, and it it did look strange. Yeah. Mm. Were you able to, uh, can you, uh, I'll ask a couple, couple of questions more. Were you able to download files from Photon to your laptop? Uh, yes, I remember once I did the, did, cool. yeah, okay. with the SCP command, yeah, uh -huh. I, yes. yeah, I yeah. download the file from, or I transfer a file from uh, Photon to my laptop, yeah. I, I remember I did the same. Good. Please try as a little experiment to transfer the same file back to the photon. It's, it, it doesn't have any uh, like practical and scientific uh, use, but it's just a sanity check. If you were able to download file, you should be able to upload it. But it doesn't work for for the uploading. It doesn't work for downloading. It works. But uh, I suggest to make an experiment and upload not arbitrary file, but the same file that we were downloading before. Okay. Just uh, let, let me know if this experiment uh, works. Oh, okay. Thank you. And uh, photon. Uh, shouldn't have any firewalls if it does allow other people to upload files. Mm -hmm. I'll keep investigating, let, let me know how, how it goes, and we, we will win together, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, okay, now I'm going to the care uh, uh, case. So, um, this when, one? yes, yes, I, I, I see what, what you're doing. After, um, uh, let me tell you what is the meaning of the uh, symbol of draw. To draw something on the board. So when you put the symbol at the end of command, yes, it means it enables you to use the command line even after you start some application. Okay. Uh, 
in your girl's view, mm -hmm. you didn't put it, which means after you did start girl's view, it blocks your command line from doing anything else. Okay. So if you quit, if you stop girl's view, and you can do it just simply by typing uh, simultaneously buttons control C, then it will stop girl's view and reopen your command line for new commands. Can you type Control C just in this window? Yes, I just type Control yeah. C. Control C yes. simultaneously. Now it's work. Now yeah, it's and now you can type any commands. If you want to use Gauss View, yeah, you can type LS, enter. LT. Yeah, minus OT, enter. And then after that, uh, that uh, file name is. Yes. Now, uh, if uh, you can. Now let, let me show you. Please hit arrow up. Okay. Arrow up. Then enter. Once again, once again. No, arrow up several times. One, two. Enter. One. No, no, once again. Arrow up several times. Up, up. Once again. Yeah, once again. Now it shows CD lab three. Uh, okay, then er erase it and just type, erase it, just put backspace and type gview, gview. gview. Dot, dot exe, dot exe, yes. and then this, put this symbol at the end, put this symbol. Okay, and end. Ampersand. Yes. Yes, and now hit enter. Okay. So if I you know, use enter, then I will able to use. Yes, now you will be able to type another commands in the command line, and at the same time you will have active goals you uh, helping you to to practice additional uh, graphical information. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Uh, and the I same, uh, you can simultaneously open both Gauss U and JMOL, but do not forget to put this stuff at the end. Okay. Uh, uh, Kia, do you have more questions? No, I don't have. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me check if Stephen has any any questions for quick resolution. So, professor, uh, like um, most of the time, I use Mac, but uh, in your class, you used Windows. That's why I use this one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when I need to do any assignment or homework, I used Mac lab, Mac laptop. So, uh, uh, will do you have some time to show those things for Mac? Because I know Sarah, uh, she is suffering a problem. And, and when I will try to do that in Mac, I will also suffer the same problem. Yes. Uh, so you should-, you I should should The same problem. Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. So we should uh, find how to resolve it, maybe look through clothes and ask uh, some Mac experts, but how? As, as soon as we resolve it for Sarah, we will be able to follow her, right? And yeah. Excuse me, Professor. Uh, now I download the file from uh, Photon to my laptop using mm -hmm. SCP command. But when I want to again uh, uh, upload that file to the Photon, again, it mm -hmm. doesn't work. I see. Uh, thank you for reporting it. I will, uh, it gives me some specifics what, what to investigate. I do not have an already answer, but uh, uh, I, I, will, I will explore them and, and, and share. Okay, thank you very much. But for, for your presentation about Avogadro, I think you, you, are, you, are, uh, you do not have. This probably is not preventing you from. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, that's uh, that's fine. The avocado okay. works well. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Very good. Uh, 
Stephen, do, do, do you need do you need to share anything? Do you need to discuss something during this session? Um, it might be of interest to others. So I am uh, using Gauss view now, but I cannot find the uh, the molecule. Let me to uh, share. Um, no, probably. If you share a screen, I'll I'll, I'll try to. So. And uh, I think now, now time is uh, ended. If, if there are no questions, result, I'm not going to offer any new information. So you can stay here, work on your things, request additional questions. But if you need to go, uh, we are done. I'm not uh, planning to keep anyone longer than uh, two hours. Uh, Stephen, are you, which file are you going to open? The the CIF file. I so, uh, okay, let me uh, suggest slow motions of your mouse. Please slowly move it to the right. Now slowly move it to, uh, down, very slowly down. Stop, more to the right and click on this panel, yes? And find .cif. Ah. And I'll click, click on it and make sure it, 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 it wants to, to be open. You can say yes if you uh, just take a few seconds more to. Make sense? Yes. Okay. And uh, you can, uh, it's quite big model, but for smaller periodic models, uh, you can try, if, if you need for your uh, research, you can try uh, using both VASP and Gaussian for periodic models. So in uh, Gaussian, there are options to run such periodic models. The only thing that it is originally was not designed for it. And uh, there could be some additional errors, but in principle, it uh, allows. Any other questions from your side? Okay. Uh, okay, I have a question in, the, in the, on one of the seats. Huh? Okay. Uh,
Okay, I'll check if uh, there are more uh, questions uh, from uh, Sarah, Kay, and Stephen. Uh, well, I, I was, uh, I'm trying to uh, open that file, but they showed that uh, because that there is macro molecule, that's why in this software uh, is not able to open that file. Which software was not able to open? Um, you can just you share. Can... You can just share a screen if you can uh, much quicker. Okay. Are you sharing screen? Uh, professor, it's uh, already disconnecting or something like that. I need to reconnect again. Oh, okay. I, if you are, if you can, now, now you should be able to. I made, I made you co Yes. Okay, so. So the file that you are trying to uh, open is like six megabytes. It, it's it's really huge, and uh, um, please for, for biological large files, try uh, to uh, explore a little smaller molecules. This is this is really huge. It's like uh, uh, closer to like half million atoms, and um, download. Biological molecules in the PDB format rather than CIF. Okay. 
yeah, mute one of your uh, computers. Yeah, if I mute the microphone, okay. I will not be able to speak. <laughs> <laughs> now it's okay because I use two laptop. So if huh? I speak there, then I am listening from here also. That's it. Okay, I'm trying to download the same structure in the PDP format. And then uh, there are chances that you will be able to open the browser. Okay. For, for uh, CIF, uh, of, uh, CIF is, is great uh, and Gaussian is, is really neat, but for uh, small and mid sized objects, if it is like uh, several thousand uh, atoms. Uh, see if my uh, in those you may fail and you will need specialized uh, software like uh, try to install west on your on your computer it will be more appropriate try to install gaussian another software no fiesta the, the one that i uh, one of uh, software pieces that yeah. i suggest yes I already installed. I, I... So you can try open uh, your C files uh, in, in Vesta. What in Gaussian? Click on Vesta. Uh, more, more, yeah. No, this, this one is. Yes. Yes. And click file open. File open. And select this uh, any of the CIF files. Okay. What is this? Does install this one? Okay, I download this one. So open this one. And then you you may wait because uh, it is a really big file. Okay. But for um, education purposes, it's it better to play with smaller files. This. Uh, Larger files are challenging, uh, better focus on them only for real research. Okay. So, any other questions? No. Okay. I will uh, do it so by myself. Uh, I will download smaller version file, means that file will contain small molecule, then I will do it by myself. Okay. Uh, any questions from Sarah uh, or Stephen? No, I'm just thinking about my problem. How yeah, to? Yeah. I'm thinking about your problem too. Uh, I'm going just to uh, browse through forums of pub users and check why uh, SSH is blocked for download. And uh, I'll, I'll share what I, what I find. Okay, thank but you. But it is not for it's not a one minute activity. Right? Mm. I'll, it'll take some time. Yeah, I see. Thank you. Okay. Is there no uh, more? I, I know that uh, Boston has some questions, but it's she told me it's not related to the class. So I suggest we complete our meeting if no one, if, if it is okay, right? So uh, I'll count to three slowly. We stop me if there are more questions, and after the count three, I will uh, stop the meeting. Any more questions? One. Any more questions? Two. Any additional questions? Two and a half. Okay, meeting is done. <laughs> so, have a good night. Thank you. You too. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye. I have a question unrelated to class that I will send to you in an email. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you'll send it by email or you want to discuss now? 
Well, it's just more of a, a, a fun question regarding something I'm planning. Okay. Uh, between the four fruits, uh, raspberry, peach, blueberry, or strawberry, which one would you prefer to drink with tea or coffee? The snack. Just the first one to, 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 to be simple. <laughs> okay. Uh, you'll see why I'm asking on Friday. Okay. See you, Professor. Okay, yeah. So okay. I'm disconnecting. Yeah. Bye, Professor.